This is a video over pulleys. So all we want to find out is what does this mass need to be to hold up this 10 kilograms. Now if we remember one of the big things about pulleys is this rope, this rope, all the way through it has the same tension. So, so if you have a force of 10 newtons here, then you have the same force of 10 newtons here. 10 newtons here. And you also have the same force of 10 newtons here. That's just one of the really basic things of uh, pulleys is just is knowing that this single rope that goes through it all has the same tension throughout it. And I have another video up if you would like a refresher on that. But let's get started on this problem. So this 10 kilograms is being pulled to the earth at an acceleration of acceleration of maybe I'm going to say 10 meters per second squared. So what is the force of that? So if we say the acceleration of earth is equal to 10 meters per second squared and force is equal to mass times acceleration then we have 10 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared is equal to a hundred kilograms meters second squared and we if we remember that a newton is equal to a kilogram meter per second squared then this is equal to a hundred newtons so then this is being pulled towards this 10 kilogram mass is being pulled towards the earth with a hundred newtons so this rope right here feels that same force of 100 newtons. So it must be pulling against this with a force of 100 newtons as well. So if we get up here to hold this, to hold this pulley system up, hold this pulley system up, these two ropes must have a total force of 100 newtons going in the upwards direction. Now, if we remember that a the rope in a pulley system if it's the same rope, must have the same tension. So these two ropes must have the same tension. Then we just divide by two, since there's two of them holding up this 100 newtons. So then this side must be pulling it up with a force of 50 newtons. And this side must be pulling it up with a force of 50 newtons. So then this rope right here must be pulling this mass up with 50 newtons. So if this must have a, a tension of 50 newtons on it, then this needs to be being this needs to be pulled towards the earth with a force of 50 newtons so then remember force is equal to mass times acceleration so if we divide by acceleration divide by a on both sides we get f over a is equal to the mass so we have 50 newtons over 10 kilograms or not 10 kilograms 10 meters per second squared and that will give us 5 um, newton second squared meters and we go back up to our conversion up here and that will just convert to 5 kilograms so this math must be 5 kilograms for this system to stay static